What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. I know I'm putting the hurt on your vision with these fashionable threads from barbecuehippie.com, but listen, I went over there, bought a bunch of shirts because you know I'm down with the hippies. Anyway, I'm gonna leave a link in the description where you could buy all different kinds of apparel, coffee mugs, things like that in the description. Anyway, what we're gonna be making today is we're gonna be making some pan seared strip steaks with a nice brandy cream sauce. Anyway, this is a pretty straightforward recipe. Let's get into the ingredients. These are the ingredients we're gonna to use to hook this up. I have some strip steaks here that I'm gonna let come to room temperature for about an hour after I salt and pepper them. I have some brandy, heavy cream, some beef stock, some uh, butter, black pepper, capers with the uh, brine drained off, garlic, kosher salt, and then I have some clarified butter. And I'm gonna use the clarified butter to cook the steak in our skillet, just so we won't have any burning action going on. Anyway, the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna go ahead and get our pepper, or get our steak salt and peppered up. And we're not going to be shy with the pepper on this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of these off camera. Like I said, they're going to have a chance to come to room temperature, and that should be about an hour. So our steak has had a chance to come to room temperature. I have some clarified butter in our skillet here. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to throw these steaks in, and I'm going to go three and a half minutes aside. So that's our first three and a half minutes. Let's go ahead and flip it. And that looks beautiful right there. Let's go another three and a half minutes. So that's three and a half minutes on that side. Now we're just gonna go ahead and touch these edges up for about 25-30 seconds. 30 seconds on that side. Let's go ahead and flip it over, get this other edge. All right, so that's a wrap. Let's go ahead and get these off. I'm gonna set these aside and we'll get started on this sauce. So to make this sauce, really all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and throw in our shallots, our garlic, and our black pepper. It was left over from our steak seasoning. We're just gonna cook this down a little bit. So this has been a couple minutes. Shallots are kind of softened up. We're gonna go ahead and throw in our capers. And I like a lot of capers in mine, so I'm going with this whole bottle. Just gonna hit it with a little bit of this beef stock. Well, maybe a little bit more. And I'm going to go ahead and let that reduce down for about 35, 40 seconds. All right, now that that's cooked down a little bit, we're going to go ahead and get down to my new favorite technique. We're going to go ahead and pour some of this brandy in. I'm going to try not to jump back, but I'm going to go ahead and light this up on fire right quick. Now that our flame's gone out, we're going to go ahead and add some heavy cream. And we're going to bring this to a simmer and let it cook down a bit. And I'm going to say probably three minutes. Now that this is at a chance to reduce, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. We're going to go ahead and add our butter. 
And I'm going to go ahead and start plating up or getting this steak cut up and then uh, see what that looks like. And then we'll plate up one of these. So let's get into this steak and see what we're looking like. And I'm extremely happy with this right here. You know, got a nice little pink inside, nice crust on the outside. My steak was a little kind of that medium rare. If you wanted it medium well, I'd probably go ahead and maybe cook it a four and a half, five minutes aside, and then well done, maybe six minutes aside. Anyway, as you can see in that picture, I did pair this with some uh, dill mashed potatoes, some asparagus, and then this steak. But like I said, this is all about the steak. So let's get into that. Get a little bit of this sauce on here. That sauce is a winner. Now, it is a little chunky because I have those, you know, whole jar of capers. I got a bunch of those shallots in there. The way I would like it, if you want a little bit thinner, obviously don't add as much. While I'm at it, I might as well get into these potatoes. <coughs> those are awesome. Asparagus is always good. Anyway, I will highly recommend this recipe to anybody that's looking to cook a steak and doesn't want to get outside on the grill. This right here, I'm gonna, I'm, this, is, this is a 10. Anyway, give it a try. Again, run by barbecuehippie.com. Pick up all your hippie doom gear out there. I'm, listen, I bought a bunch of these shirts, so I'm gonna be rocking them. I got some giveaways coming up, and you know, I can't say enough about that. Anyway, thanks for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.